Hi, I'm Ken. And I'm Rich. And today, we're going to make a borrow meal that'll take the chill off freezing winter days and nights. That's right, folks. It's a zesty tomato stew, guaranteed to stick to your ribs and satisfy the heartiest appetite. The ingredients are oil, cubed stewing beef, sliced onions, crushed garlic, grated ginger, tomatoes, tomato puree, the juice and grated zest of an orange, cinnamon, sugar, black pepper, shredded basil leaves, boiling water, and of course, beefy bovril. In a large saucepan, heat the oil and brown the meat. Remove the meat from the saucepan and set aside. In the same saucepan, saute the onions until soft and golden. Add the garlic and the ginger and saute for one minute. Add the meat, add the tomatoes, tomato puree, orange juice and orange zest, and the cinnamon stick. Add the dissolved beefy bovril, bring to boil, lower the heat, cover and simmer while stirring every now and again until the meat is tender, approximately one and a half hours. Season to taste with sugar and freshly ground black pepper. Stir in the basil just before serving. Sprinkle a mixture of grated orange rind and basil over the stew to garnish. Here are the ingredients again. Rich, I don't know about you, but I have enough stew to last all winter, and I'm not moving from this couch until it's time to refill my bowl. <laughs> yeah, I'm with you on that one. Hi, I'm Ken. And I'm Rich. And today, we're going to teach you how to make Barbara blue cheese and biltong stuffed French loaf. I know it sounds gourmet and it tastes like we spent hours in the kitchen, but surprisingly, it's easy to make. And trust me, it's something that will definitely impress the ladies. The ingredients are softened butter, grated biltong, freshly ground black pepper, thinly sliced blue cheese, one large French loaf or two small ones, chopped chives, and beefy bovril. Mix the butter and biltong together, season with black pepper, then add beefy bovril. Cut the French loaf into slices of about one and a half centimeters thick, but don't cut all the way though. Spread the butter mixture onto each slice and put a slice of cheese on top. Wrap the loaf in foil Bake in a preheated oven for 10 to 15 minutes. Sprinkle chopped chives on top, then serve. You can use any cheese of your choice with the bovril and butter mixture. The biltong is optional. This combination is delicious on baked potatoes or in a snack dish. Here are the ingredients again. 250 grams of softened butter, a cup of grated biltong, freshly ground black pepper, 125 grams of thinly sliced blue cheese, one large French loaf or two small ones, and a few tablespoons of chopped chives, and of course, beefy bovril. As I said, something for the ladies. Hi, I'm Ken. And hey, I'm Rich. And welcome to the beefiest Bovril tips on how to pump up your cooking performance. Well, today we're going to show you how to make baked Bovril vegetables with garlic, feta, and herb crumble. It's a perfect dish to serve your friends on a fresh spring day. The ingredients are diced butternut, sliced leeks, baby marrows, sliced mushrooms, sour cream, corn flour, crushed garlic, melted butter, white breadcrumbs, freshly chopped mixed herbs, crumbled feta cheese, and of course, beefy bovril. 
Combine the leeks, butternut, baby marrows, and mushrooms into a large oven-proof dish. And Ken, you're mixing the cream, corn flour, and barbel, right? That's right, Rich. Pour over the vegetables and mix. Bake in a preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius for about 45 minutes to an hour until the vegetables are soft and the sauce starts to thicken. Mix the ingredients of the crumble together, right Rich? That's exactly what I'm doing, Ken. Sprinkle over the vegetables and grill until golden. Here are the ingredients again. If you want it a bit saltier, just add more bovril. Hey, 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 wait a minute. Aren't you gonna wait for your friends? Are you kidding? After all this cooking, I've worked up an appetite. And besides, I have another one cooking in the oven. You're right. Who can say no to baked barbel vegetables anyway? Dig in. Hi, I'm Ken. Hello, I'm Rich. And today we have three super Barbara winter recipes for you. Get it? Super? Yeah, I get it. Together with Barbara and my punning co-chef, here's how to make goodness in a cup. The ingredients are oil, grated onion, grated carrot, crushed garlic, two cans of sugar beans, two cans of garden peas, frozen peas, frankfurters, balsamic vinegar, chopped parsley, freshly ground black pepper to taste, and of course, beefy bovril. The first soup is real easy. Just stir a spoonful of bovril into boiling water. I'll make the bean soup in the flash while my co-chef makes the beefy pea soup at the same time. Heat the oil, saute the onion and garlic until golden and soft. Puree the beans in a food processor and add to the onion mixture. Puree the peas in a food processor and add to the onion mixture. Add parsley, balsamic vinegar, and of course, beefy bovril. Add the frozen peas, parsley, carrots, and of course, the beefy bovril. Simmer over low heat for five to 10 minutes. Add the frankfurters, season the taste, and serve with freshly baked bread. Beefy Bovril, more than just a spread. Hi, I'm Ken. And I'm Rich. And today, we're going to show you how to beef up your ribs. Not in the gym, silly. Right here in the kitchen with Beefy Bovril. Here's a simple way to make a delicious marinade and basting for your ribs. To make enough for four people, you'll need a kilo of ribs, grated ginger, finely chopped spring onions, honey, crushed garlic, lemon zest and juice, olive oil, freshly chopped thyme, tomato sauce, and of course, the one thing that makes all the difference, Beefy Bovril. Right, let's cook. Mix all the marinade ingredients together with the beefy bottle. Boil for five minutes and pour hot over the ribs. Let the ribs cool, place in a resealable plastic bag, and refrigerate for at least two hours. And get ready to bry. Fry over medium to hot coals while basting frequently with marinade. This marinade is also delicious on chicken or chops. Here are the ingredients again. A kilo of ribs, 
four centimeters of ginger grated, two spring onions finely chopped, four tablespoons of honey, two cloves of garlic crushed, grated zest and juice of one lemon, three tablespoons of olive oil, two tablespoons of freshly chopped thyme, half a cup of tomato sauce, and four tablespoons of beefy bovril. Man, this is great! And you thought bovril was just a spread. Hi, I'm Ken. And I'm Rich. Do you want to know how to make the meatiest Bavro meatballs? With a spicy sweet chili dip? The ingredients are extra lean beef or lamb mince, Bulgarian yogurt or sour cream, corn flour, coarsely grated onion, chopped parsley, sweet chili sauce, cream cheese, chopped coriander, and of course, beefy Bavro. Mix the meat, yogurt, corn flour, bar roll, onion, and parsley together. Shape into balls. Place in a shallow grease oven-proof dish. Hey, what are you doing? I'm making a beefy ball, just like me. Bake at 180 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes. Make the dip by mixing together all the ingredients and serve with the meatballs. Here are the ingredients again for the meatballs. 500 gram extra lean beef or lamb mince, three quarter cup of Bulgarian yogurt or sour cream, four tablespoons of corn flour, one third cup of bovril, half an onion coarsely grated, two tablespoons of freshly chopped parsley. For the sauce you need, four tablespoons of sweet chili sauce, a tablespoon of bovril, half a cup of cream cheese, three tablespoons of freshly chopped coriander, and coriander for garnish. Mm, have you ever thought of how many of these you can fit into your mouth at one time? No, 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 don't be silly now. Older viewers think about.